Hello everybody. Today I'm going to take a unused M2 drive and convert it into an internal SSD by using this two and a half inch SSD enclosure from Sabret. As we unbox the enclosure, you'll see that it has a bag of screws, a small screwdriver, some instructions. and the enclosure itself. First thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the back of the enclosure from the top. Take your M2 drive, insert it in the slot, take one of the bigger screws that's in the package and screw the M2 down. Next step is going to be to put the housing back together and then use four of the smallest screws in the bag to connect the top to the bottom. Once you're done with your assembly, you can install it in your computer and format it. Here's a time lapse of a pass on Crystal Disk Mark, and as you can see, the speeds are excellent. Here's a screenshot of another test run on it. The Western Digital Blue Drive that is inside the enclosure is actually rated at 550 and 525 for read and write. And you can see here that it's actually performing a little better than that. Right here I'm going to move a 3.77 gig file from a SanDisk 500 gig drive to this Western Digital Drive that is in the enclosure this is real time and as you can see it just takes a matter of seconds for 3.77 gigs and I'm gonna move that same file back the other way and again just a matter of seconds here's a comparison of the Western Digital M2 drive inside the Sabrent adapter to a SanDisk 3D SSD. The speeds are very comparable. I'm extremely happy with this project. Thanks for watching.